know. We never le- leave our pick. Natural girls, we never leave our pick. <laughs> A little bit more turn. Good morning. Um, I actually twisted my hair. I had it in a five day wet wash and go, and this is how it's looking because I'm about to take off the scarf. But I want to show you guys my tools that I used last night to detangle my hair, too. Um, this is how it looks. This is how I st- actually stretch it. I put a hair tie on it and I twisted it. I twisted it. I know it's gonna look good. It smells so good. And um, so I detangled it. Um, I dampened I dampened it with um, the Almond Jai Twist Butter and a detangling comb. Let me show you guys. This is what I use, Almond Jai Twist Butter and a detangling comb. And um, sectioned off the parts. Um, and part of my hair, if you can see that. And you'll see a little bit later on today. I'm not ready to take it down, but I just wanted to show you guys first thing in the morning how it looks. Excuse la cara, okay? It is completely dry, by the way. Um, you definitely want to wait until all the product is completely dry before you start taking it down because it will cause a whole bunch of frizz. And I sealed, let me show you the oil I used. This is actually an organics. Um, the, the label actually came, came off, but this is uh, that orchid oil. It's a color protectant oil, but it smells so good. And I use this to um, for shine after putting that on. And then I slept in the scarf. Y'all just saw me take off. So that's what I need. Good morning, all. Hope you are having an amazing day. I'm just gonna set up my camera right here. Y'all, I had a five-day twist out. Good morning, by the way. Y'all see me in my full morning glory. I had a twist out that was like five days old. And I ended up twisting it. And um, I haven't taken them out. All I did last night was put a headscarf on. I put this back. I know I have some bins. But this has been in a whole day. Yesterday, did not leave the house. So... Why would I take my twist out? These are completely dry, and I'm using some raw oil by Maui Moisture. It smells amazing. Before I take my twist down, I am going to put it in my hand and just run it over my hair. This is gonna reduce frizz. I start from the back, work my way to the front, just so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm on my way to work. So, Y'all are going to see. We filmed a couple of videos last night, but I didn't have to disturb it. All I did was, because my hair was braided, tied it back, put on a wig. The Anissa wig by California Lace Wigs. I love that um, wig. I do have a review, and so you guys can check it out. But I'm learning some tips on wigs. If y'all have some tips on how to wear wigs and how to make them look more natural, the hairline, um, how to like a what pattern is there a particular pattern that I need to follow in order for them to like lay really flat let me know but as you can tell this is how I am and some of these were flat twists by the way that's why I'm going all the way to the root if I want to stretch the root which I particularly like because that's what makes them long but see how my hair is stretched I did use the almond jar twist butter to twist my hair as you saw um, previous to this day but don't always comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see here so that is one side and I just take a tug at the kind of like the root just to bring it down but I'm so excited this is really the style that makes my hair thrive so I make the twist smaller in the top just because that's where I get the most frizz the smaller the twist the more defined your twist out is going to be the larger the twist 
the less volume. I actually like larger twists, but I do make the twist smaller initially the first time. So I probably will retwist my hair tonight. If I want to stretch it more and more, that's what I do. And retwisting really, especially for my, you know, fine thin hair, it does not take a long time at all. So there's a myth. I think that goes on and that is with natural hair you can be lazy if you want your hair to thrive I don't think you can be lazy with your skin if you want your skin to thrive if you want your makeup you it's gonna take some time okay so just gonna pull apart this one I'm gonna leave that one alone See, I try to go for the ones that maybe I can pull apart. See, I only pull it apart where it will allow me to. So, yeah. And then I'm just going to... If I want to stretch it some more... I'll just take my scrunchie and gather it all together. This one I'm going to leave. I actually like how this one is laying, but that is how my hair looks stretched. I'm going to put a little bit more oil. And I'm going to run it along the ends. and at the base of my hair, the root. Not gonna do too much stretching, but voila. That is how this first day twist out. It looks pretty good. It looks like I really, I got um, my hair before it went dry. If you wait too long, you would have waited too late to do a twist out. Turn it from a wash and go to a twist out. This was just a really good wash and go. And I'm so happy that they are drugstore prices. So um, I'll check on Amazon and see if that gel is still available. Let me see what gel. This is the gel that I'm talking about. This one is the super wet aloe. It is glycerin free. And I really do like this gel. I can tell a difference. Yeah, this one is a really good one. Do I want to use some on my edges? Maybe just a little bit. Now let me finish getting ready. already can tell like hair is frizzing up over here it's like um how many degrees out here it's about 65 60 degrees 59 60 i would say about 60 degrees but it's foggy and i can already tell that my hair is frizzing up right over here so a lot of times when that happens, I will take my hair tie and kind of tie my hair back. It reduces the frizz from the environment just so I don't have like crazy hair. So what I'm going to do is actually, uh, like I said, yeah, I am going to go ahead and pin my hair back. Just a sec. Put my hair back. Yeah. This is kind of like a way that I preserve my hair is by uh, just tying it back like this. Especially, you know, sometimes I will even like 
put a silk scarf on and then put on a hat depending it's kind of it's foggy y'all but let me show you let me show you how it looks so we're over here by the forum as you can tell but um yeah it's very foggy today We'll check back a little bit later, but I just wanted to show you guys, um, because it's foggy, this is a way that I preserve my hair, and um, although I'm in a car, it does get poofier and poofier, especially if you have on the, like, the AC or the, the heater. Oh, I have a package to mail today. One of the winners, the winner of um, a giveaway that I had. So I have to package that up, send it out. Uh, but I bring my stuff with me, y'all. And believe it or not, I keep jail in the car. Don't judge me, okay? Hello, people. Yes, I have to put it in, as I say, envelope mode. I'll be just wiping down my car. This is exactly, I just undid my twist. This is day seven. All I did was use, use a little bit of the Smooth Naturals Triple Treat Styler, just cause it has some hold and some moisture. This is a great thing to do if uh, you need some hold, but some moisture at the same time. And you want it to like extend the wear of like your twist out this one is specifically designed for twist outs it's a creamy styler I did a review on it before so I'll just link it in the info bar Bye. hi guys so today is oh lord day nine can you believe it um I have my hair up in a twist yesterday I couldn't show you guys because I um I wasn't feeling well, but I I was all over the place. But anyway, this is my hair. I put it up in a puff because this is gonna be the last day before wash day. Now, I have um, next vlog is going to be, <clears throat> the next vlog that you see after this one will be of a protein treatment. I'm gonna show you how I track it, how I um, make sure that I don't skip uh, how I ensure that I don't skip and make sure that my hair is it has that protein treatment in it because I do have fine thin high porosity hair and it thrives and lives from protein by the way I really do believe because of the protein that I drink I eat I put in my hair my nails are also very very long I know I got that question before so just want to let you know I'm signing off um, of this vlog and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Peace y'all.